Welcome back to another video guys. My name is Mr. Baby and today I want to take this new angel final form Frieza Who actually has an active skill into Golden Frieza by the way and compare him to the rest of the best <laughs> TURs in uh, Dokkan. Now for those TURs we have Cooler, we have Gohan, we have Beerus, and we have Kefla. Now I kind of want to move quick through these because you know there are some a lot of characters I need to compare here to. I want to do one one on one first, right? I, I think I can get pretty confused if I start jumping between a bunch all of these um, you know units. So first I want to compare with Cooler. Okay, uh, I think this is going to be a big topic of discussion between this Cooler and this Frieza. So let's just go ahead and take a look, right? So in terms of leader skill, this Frieza leads Resurrect Warriors and other World Warriors key 450 percent to all stats, whereas this guy. Leads Terrifying Conquerors and Transformation Boost by Key 3. HP 130, which I am not a fan of at all. It makes your teams a little bit weaker, right? More vulnerable to, to more to um, you know, uh, events that, that are actually pretty more, pretty difficult, right? And then attacking defense plus 170%, which is obviously the trade-off here, which is really huge, right? So I do like coolers, they just go a little bit better. Transformation boost and the terrifying conquerors, I think, have more power than other world warriors and resurrected warriors right i mean not that these categories are bad but i just think that this leader skill is also a little bit better yes you are have a little bit lower hp which i'm not a fan of um but you do have higher attack and defense which i, I guess makes up for it where it's just a clean 150 here now it's just, this key four though is huge dude this key four is huge i don't know man i think i think cooler might have a little bit better just because of the leaders the categories that he's actually leading but this is not far away from Cooler's ability, right? So on Super Attack, this Frieza raises defense infinitely and seals Super Attack. Whereas this guy only lowers attack and defense. But you know what's interesting? From, from Frieza's passive, he lowers attack and defense by 30% for two turns. So he's doing what Cooler does here. He's doing that, but just on his passive skill. But he doesn't need to do it on his Super Attack because he's also stacking defense infinitely. And ceiling super attack. So I guess I, I I think we can all agree that his super attack effect is actually a lot better. Now in terms of passive skill, attack and defense plus 100%, right? Gain additional attack and defense plus 50% for five turns after receiving attack, and he has a chance to dodge, medium chance by the way. And then attack enemies attack and defense minus 30% for two turns. Two turns. This guy he gets attack and defense plus 100%, and then the rest of this is just support type ability. Right, he doesn't do anything else for himself, which I guess, I guess, you know, it's good, but it also is like, I mean, this freeze is gonna be hitting harder, right? And he also has a chance to dodge, and he's lowering attack and defense from enemies. Where he's, this guy is just supporting the team. Now, you're gonna see this, this one a lot more. It, it's, it just sucks that this isn't. He doesn't do both here, right? If he did both here, if he did, if he let, if he helped transformation boost by this much and terrifying conquerors by that much this got to be a lot better but it's it's one or the other which means that i mean freeze is doing this is doing a lot more which is why i think freeze's passive skill is actually better than coolers let me know what you guys think in the comment section below in terms of active skill this guy can be can activate it turn three if facing pure stains or hybrid stains which i do think is a little bit more than 50 percent of the game if we're going to be honest right i mean i have to I have to go in and count but i think it's easy to say that half of the game is pure stands and hybrid stands um, or only when facing only one enemy, starting from the sixth turn from the start of that. This guy gets it the moment you you you, you get a rotation. <laughs> so obviously his active skill uh, requirements or you know conditions whatever are, is a lot better. You can activate this whenever the heck you want, which is so freaking cool. Um, so you can choose to. I don't know, man. That that's that ability to just activate it whenever you want is just so freaking cool. Let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah. So right now, his super attack, passive, and active skill ability is, is, is better than, than coolers here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at them when they're, you know, transformed, I guess, right? So, Frieza massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage, whereas cooler raises attack infinitely. This is huge. He also greatly lowers defense, where Frieza doesn't do that, right? So, massively, unless you, unless you give this guy, you know... Uh, like additionals, which I think you should because he, he, he stacks defense, right? Unless you give him additionals, this doesn't mean anything because massively raising attack for one turn. Well, so hmm, I don't know. I, I mean, it's obviously really, really strong. This is a huge buff, 
But uh, the way I'm the way I'm seeing it is that after you attack, you magically raise your, your your attack, right? But if you don't get an additional, will you be will you really be able to capitalize off this? Or or see the way I think super attacks work in Dokkan, and I could be completely wrong here, and I'm just starting to realize this is this buff happens after you super attack. So once you super attack, you massively raise your attack. But it could be, it could be on super attack, right? It could be on super attack. And if it's on super attack, then that means this is going to be, this is, this is huge right here. Huge damage. Now, again, cooler raise attack infinitely. I think it is actually on super attack because I know that the attack set will be a little bit higher, right? So yeah, I think it is actually on super attack. I don't know. I just had a quick brain fart there. Um, and then he also greatly lowers defense. I do think Cooler's a little bit better. I think Cooler's is better because as he continues to raise attack, he's gonna be he's gonna be doing quite a lot of damage. Um, but I mean, dude, that this Frieza, when I was watching Truth Showcase, got up to look like a six mil attack stat, turn one, which again is realistic. Is realistic because when you if you have two Frieza's on rotation, you can transform one of them, and they're they're gonna share every single link. <laughs> and uh, it, it was a, it was a very realistic rotation. It was. Whereas you can't do that with this cooler, you can't transform turn one, right? And you can't run both of these guys on the same team. I mean, you you can run them on the same team. I meant on the same rotation um, until a few turns after, right? So passive skill uh, key three attack and defense one hundred and eighty percent launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Performs a critical hit when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. This right here is what makes cooler so freaking dumb just so dumb right just so dumb frieza here so he gets attack and defense plus 120 percent gains an additional attack and defense plus 80 percent when launching a super attack okay so so let's compare that like really quick okay key three attack and defense 180 percent right under you have to you guys we have to understand that the additional attack and defense plus 80 percent on super attack is an out of turn buff right so when this frieza super attacks he's going to be at attack and defense plus 200 percent but it's actually a little bit higher than 200 percent because it's not a flat attack and defense plus 80 percent it's a out of turn buff the same way tank broly's active skill works so i'm gonna it could be anywhere from attack and defense plus like maybe 205 210 215 percent which obviously is a lot more than, than this cooler which i mean this cooler is still really really high and he's also giving himself key where, uh, as this Frieza really isn't, right? So, um, did we... Okay, okay, let's continue here. So, Frieza, um, he also has a great chance to stun the enemy, which is huge, right? For super battle, for basically for every event that, like, that, that can allow that. And then reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. Now, the guaranteed crit, though, like, the guaranteed crit is so freaking amazing but it's, I mean, again, it is more, it's its about 50% of the game, but it's not everyone, right? And if Cooler's not facing a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyans, he's not, he's doing some really good damage, but he's not like, oh my god, like, this guy is just destroying everything, right? And that medium chance to launch an additional super attack is definitely huge. I, I will not lie at all. It's definitely huge. Um, and you can actually replicate this if you give, the, if you give this guy additionals, right? Um, in terms of crit, though, he can't do that power unless... It's either you give him crit or additional, right? So that's that's the downside with this Frieza. Um, but I think overall, man, I'm going to say this Frieza. Because, again, this Frieza, when you're below 50% HP, you want more defense, right? So he reduces damage received by 50% with 120% defense. And an extra attack and defense was 80% after he super attacks. And he has a great chance to stun. Yeah, this, this Frieza just does so freaking much, man. That's why I think this guy is definitely um, a lot better than this cooler. Let me know what you guys think. Um... I don't know where I want this freezer right now. Uh, maybe the, the two spot, maybe the three spot, we'll see. So I do think he's better than Cooler. Let's go ahead and exile Cooler. Next we have Gohan. I mean, Gohan's just like... I, I have... I still have Gohan at number one. Uh, simply because, I mean, attack and defense was 140%. He builds key. He gets an, he gets an additional attack plus 40% for no reason. Um, and then he gets, greatly raises attack and defense infinitely. Um, so this... You're... This Frieza's defense, even though he stacks defense, is going to be nowhere near this Gohan's after a few turns. So that's just, that's just, that's unfortunately the way it is. Now, I will say, this guy's links are a lot better. You can actually use this guy more, uh, I would say, like his utility is a lot, is, is higher, I would say, than this Gohan. Um, because his links are weird, his categories are interesting, but like, I don't know. Like the way he works with certain units are going to be really interesting. 
but this guy is just a lot better right again i don't even have to look at this like it doesn't matter what this guy does this gohan is just done right so i would say that that this gohan is in the first slot or you know he's a top t war still in the game i just don't see a case for this reason to be honest uh next we have beerus now beerus is another unit who, who raises attack infinitely uh, he doesn't have a transformation, so it, we can just compare literally everything here, I guess, or just this part, where he's just raising defense and sealing super attack, which I do think is a lot better than just stacking attack. I would always take stacking defense over stacking attack, dude. I don't care about that. Um, now, I do think his leader skill is a lot better. Uh, Realm of Gods and Exploding Rage. Like, Realm of Gods roster is amazing. Exploding Rage, I'm not too familiar with it, but I still... Like, Realm of Gods, I think, is still better than both Resurrected Warriors and Other World Warriors combined, right? So, it's just, I think, I like Beerus more. Now, passive skill, defense plus 100%, um, so similar to Frieza. Attack plus 150% when performing a super attack. Um, so this guy, he gets something like that, but it's actually on when he's when he gets hit. Not on super attack, but when he gets hit. The really interesting thing about this Beerus is he has passive skill, defense plus 100%, attack plus 150% when performing a super attack. Okay, so this Frieza, attack and defense 100%. And then he gets his additional attack and defense plus 50% after 5 returns af Wait, for 5 turns, sorry, after receiving an attack. Whereas this guy, uh, he gets attack and defense plus 70% within the same turn only. Now, th this is, okay, this, this, hear, hear me out for a second. This attack and defense plus 70% is huge, right? But it's, it's only within the same turn after receiving an attack. So that means that you have to get attacked first every single time this beer is on rotation to activate this. But Frieza, which is not going to happen, let's be realistic, it's not, it's not always going to happen, right? Where this Frieza gets hit once, and he gets attacked and defense plus 50% for 5 turns. So this is not dependent on, on him getting hit every single rotation, right? Which is why I think this, this ability is better. Um, he also changes rainbow key spheres, uh, he, he changes a random orb into key spheres. And then uh, is effective against all types when facing a Realm of Gods category enemy, which is actually pretty limited, right? There's not that many Realm of Gods enemies in the game, but there is still a, quite a few to make this very, very, very uh, good, right? And then again, this guy just dodges um, and then lowers attack and defense by 30% for two turns. I do like the ability um, here to, to, to change orbs into rainbow. I do like that a lot. And being effective against all types is actually pretty strong against Roma Gods. The only one this actually is going to be really good for is the STR state. I mean, not... Okay, hold up. Let me back out of here. I think this second ability right here is going to be more useful when you're facing STR UI Goku and Legendary Goku event. Other than that, though, I mean, this beer is just dominating everything, right? Like, I don't think there's another challenge for this beer, so unless you're bringing him to Super Battle Road, right? Which is a little bit different. Roma Gods, Super Battle Road, this guy's going to be pretty good be just because of that ability, right? Um, this freezer is just, again, lowering attack and defense by 30%, so he's going to be hitting harder and taking less damage. I don't know. This is actually tough. Let me know what you guys think. Which passive skill do you think is better? I do think the beginning of, of freezer is a little bit better, because this guy has to get hit for the first time every single turn to activate that attack and defense plus 70%, whereas Frieza gets it for five turns once, he's get, once he gets hit. Once he gets hit, sorry, once. So that's why I do think this guy is, is a little bit better in terms of the passive skill. Let me know what you guys think, though. Um, and then the active skill here is again very restrictive attack and defense plus 50 percent effective against all types and guaranteed to hit only for one turn so it's it's an attack right i don't know if we can really compare these his extra skill is a whole transformation he does amazing stuff so b because you know frieza has another form here um he's actually really strong i do think he is better than than, than beerus but, but again not by much though beerus still has a lot of utility but frieza can just go from stacking defense to completely obliterating the opponent again remember six million attack stat turn one when we were when I was watching uh, Tooth Showcase, which again was a very realistic uh, rotation, right? So I do like him better than Beerus. Next we have Kefla. Now Kefla, in terms of base form, again I do like uh, Beerus. Uh, actually, Frieza um, a little bit more. Now Kefla has Divas with 100%, just like um, Beerus, and just like uh, what's his face, um, Frieza. Attack 100% when performing a super attack, so it's gonna be a little bit stronger here. Plus an additional attack, plus 50%, and high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, with 6 or more key spheres obtained. Which is possible, but if you think about it, if you don't get 6 or more key spheres, you only have this from your passive. That's it. You only have this. Whereas Frieza, right, does all of this with no restriction. No restriction. 
So I, 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 I freeze is better, right? Um, super attack, raise attack, and lowers defense. Um, really good, but not not as good as just sealing and then stacking defense infinitely. In terms of leader skill, universe six and rapid growth. Universe six is actually very limited. Uh, I might like this one a little bit more than that, right? Uh, it's key three, one seventy to all stats, right? Yeah, that's actually really strong. But key four, one hundred fifty percent to all stats is also really really good too. Let me know what you guys think about the leader skills. Um, and then if we take a look at these guys at full power. Um, this Kevo is actually just dumb, dude. Key two, defense one hundred sixty percent. Attack was 160% when performing a super attack. High chance of evading enemy attack, including super attack. So, she does that the, the second part here without, like, like the high chance to dodge, right, is an ability she gets without having to collect any orbs, right? Beerus isn't really, not Beerus, Freeze doesn't really have an ability like that, though. Um, he does have a chance to stun and reduce damage received by 50% under 49% HP, whereas she, hmm, has a high chance to dodge. Launch an additional attack with six or more key spheres obtained. Hmm. Which one's going to be more useful in, in like a hard event, right? I mean, stunning is going to be really interesting in Super Bad Road, Extreme Super Bad Road. But that's just a chance, right? It's a, it's a great chance to stun where she has a high chance to launch. Um, so to, the, his chance to stun, right, is greater, obviously, than, than her chance to dodge. Not only that, though, stunning, if, you, if you're able to stun the enemy, the enemy just can't be hit anymore. I mean, the enemy can't hit you, right? Which, I guess, is similar to dodging, right? If you, if you get the chance to dodge. Um, but that also helps, helps out the rest of the team if that enemy is still, like, focusing on other units, of the, uh, other units on your team, right? Um, and then the damage received, though, minus 50% under 49% HP is huge. Kabo doesn't do anything like that. I don't know, man. I think I like this Frieza as number two. I think who I think you know this Gohan is still far and beyond the best T1 in the game. I do think that this Frieza is on the level of all of the of Kefla, Cooler, um, you know Beerus. But I do think he is number two. I do think he's number two. I do think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, yeah, I mean he just does everything, man. He literally just does everything. We can't forget that he messed with his attack for one turn, right? So again, let me know what you guys think. Um, in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed today's video hit the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace